Every animal has its own unique way to protect itself from dangerous predators. Some animals are discussed here in this video. Top of the list is Texas Horned Lizards. The Texas Horned Lizard is one of about 14 North American species of spiky-bodied reptiles called horned lizards, all belonging the genus Phrynosoma. The horned lizard is popularly called a horned toad, horny toad, or horned frog, but it is neither a toad nor a frog. The popular names come from the lizard's rounded body and blunt snout, which give it a decidedly batrachian appearance. The Texas horned lizard, along with at least three other species of the genus Phrynosoma, also has the ability to squirt an aimed stream of blood from the corners of the eyes and sometimes from its mouth at a distance up to five feet. They do this by restricting the blood flow leaving the head, thereby increasing blood pressure and rupturing tiny vessels around the eyelids. This not only confuses would-be predators, but also the blood is mixed with a chemical that is foul-tasting to canine predators such as wolves, coyotes, and domestic dogs. This novel behavior is generally observed to be very effective in defense, however, it appears to have no effect against predatory birds. They can lose up to 6% of their body weight when performing this. On number 2 is IB Iberian Rib Newt. The Iberian Rib Newt or Spanish Rib Newt is a newt endemic to the central and southern Iberian Peninsula and Morocco. It is the largest European newt species and it is also known for its sharp ribs which can puncture through its sides, and as such is also called the Sharp Rib Newt. The Iberian Rib Newt has tubercles running down each side. Through these, its sharp ribs can puncture. The ribs act as a defense mechanism, causing little harm to the newt. This mechanism could be considered as a primitive and rudimentary system of envenomation, but is completely harmless to humans. At the same time as pushing its ribs out the newt begins to secrete poison from special glands on its body. The poison-coated ribs create a highly effective stinging mechanism, injecting toxins through the thin skin in predators' mouths. The newt's effective immune system and collagen-coated ribs mean the pierced skin quickly regrows without infection. In the wild, this amphibian grows up to 30 centimeters, but rarely more than 20 centimeters in captivity. Its color is dark gray dorsally, and lighter gray on its ventral side, with rust-colored small spots where its ribs can protrude. Coming up next is hairy frog. There is a pretty good reason to call this frog as the horror frog or wolverine frog because it possess retractable claws, which it may project through the skin, apparently by intentionally breaking the bones of the toe. These are not true claws, as they are made of bone, not keratin. In addition, there is a small bony nodule nestled in the tissue just beyond the frog's fingertip. When sheathed, each claw is anchored to the nodule with tough strands of collagen. When the frog is grabbed or attacked, it breaks the nodule connection and forces the sharpened bones through the skin. Although a retraction mechanism is not known, it has been hypothesized that the claws later retract passively, while the damaged tissue is regenerated. This type of natural weaponry appears to be unique in the animal kingdom, although the otten frog possesses a similar spike in its thumb. An alternative hypothesis is that the broken bones could provide a better grip on rocks. Is a central African species of frog in the family Arthroleptidae. It is typically considered monotypic within the genus Trichobatrachus. Next on the list is exploding ants. Carpenter ants are large ants indigenous to many forested parts of the world. In at least nine Southeast Asian species of the Cylindricus complex, including Campanatus saundersi, workers feature greatly enlarged mandibular glands that run the entire length of the ant's body. They can release their contents suicidally by performing autophyses, thereby rupturing the ant's body and spraying toxic substance from the head, which gives these species the common name exploding ants. The enlarged mandibular gland, which is many times the size of that of a normal ant, produces a glue. The glue bursts out and entangles and immobilizes all nearby victims. The termite species Globiterms sulfurius has a similar defensive system. Last on this list is slow lorises. Slow lorises are a group of several species of nocturnal strepsirian primates that make up the genus Nyctispus. Due to their slow movement, all lorises, including the slow lorises, have a specially adapted mechanism for defense against predation. Their slow, deliberate movement hardly disturbs the vegetation and is almost completely silent. Once disturbed, they immediately stop moving and remain motionless. In Indonesia, slow lorises are called malu-malu or shy one because they freeze and cover their face when spotted. 
slow lorises produce a secretion from their brachial gland that is licked and mixed with their saliva. Tests show that this saliva has toxins in it. According to Nicaris, this adaptation, along with vocalizations, movement, and coloration patterns similar to those of true cobras, they have evolved through malarian mimicry to protect slow lorises when they need to move across the ground due to breaks in the canopy. That's all for today. See you in another video.